For this video, I am working off of 04 moving character.aep under the chapter 4 folder. So if you're working with my source files, feel free to open this up. What I want to do is start the animation process for my character. I want him to enter the screen and then leave the screen. So to do this, I'm just going to click once on Red Thunder Walk Cycle in the Scene Composition. I'll hit P to bring up the position value. And starting at frame zero, I'm just going to move this back. So we'll put him back at about, let's say 200 and You can go back a little bit more. Let's go up to about 275. So there we go. 2275 is the value we'll start with for the X property. Now, what I want to do is animate the character moving across the screen. And to add animation in After Effects, we'll need to click the stopwatch on the position property to enable animation. Once you have and animation to... enabled, Let's we want here. to move our character. Let's do about so three and a half seconds. So at 312, I'm just going to click and drag and start moving my character. Now we can just bring him all the way across the screen like so. And we can hold in shift and move this value to move him quicker if we wish. And I'm just going to put him at about 340. So that should be pretty good. Now if we come back here and hit the space bar on frame zero, you can see what this looks like. And it's not looking too bad. The animation's there, everything is looking pretty good. But the problem really is if we look at the feet, there is some sliding occurring with the feet. So you can see it's kind of right there. It's looking pretty good, but we might need to make just a couple of adjustments. So we're going to just page forward, I'll use page down on my keyboard, until we hit that first contact pose on frame 15. Then I'm going to make a keyframe on frame 15 and I'm going to zoom in so I can look at the foot. And I'm just going to use page down here until the foot lifts off. So I'm just going to make a couple of adjustments here just so it looks accurate. And I believe that's actually looking pretty good. Again, we don't have to make a whole lot of adjustments. If your foot is really sliding, you'll be able to tell, and you just want to back it up so it looks like it's rotating from the bottom of the foot. So now we're just going to come over here to the next point. And again, that's looking pretty good, but again, maybe on 120, I can just nudge it up a little bit just to help sell the effect. So that's looking a little bit better. And I can come back here. Again, this foot is looking pretty good. But maybe I could just go forward a little bit. So on 210, I'm just going to knock it forward a little bit like that. And at that point, this foot can move forward for sure. So on 301, we're just going to move that foot up a little bit. And that's looking a little bit more grounded. So the goal here is just to ground the movement in according to the speed of the walk cycle. And we didn't have to do much correction there, but it's good to point out that you can go in and correct the feet like we just did by adding some keys. So once you're good and you hit the space bar, you can see the character walk across the screen. And it's looking pretty good. Let me just bring my work area in like this so we can watch the animation just like that. And it's looking good. What I'll do here is make one more file. I'll label it 05 walk cycle final in the chapter four folder. That way you can reference the final file and make any corrections to yours as you see fit. With the walk cycle complete, you can now export out the animation. Just come up to the composition option and then choose add to Adobe Media Encoder. This will launch Media Encoder 
And if you give it just one moment, your composition should appear in the queue. Once you have this set, you need to export out the video using your format and preset options. In this case, I would choose QuickTime. I'll click on the preset. And then we can come down here to the video codec. And we'll change this to Apple ProRes. That way we get the most out of our quality. You can make sure all of your other options are set, such as matching the width and height to your composition. So we'll just click on match source. That way everything is set. And if you have an alpha channel, you can check that on down here as well with depth. But in this case, we should be good to go with what we have. So I'll just leave this at a depth of eight. And once you're good, you can click OK. And then from here, you can choose to render out your file and then share it with the world.